please, I'm not in this video because I'm tired today. Enjoy your pizza. Hey, what's up guys? This is The Average Drummer and I'm here with another cooking time. Today we're making grilled pizza. So we're gonna start this whole day making a pizza dough. I'm gonna show you all the stuff we need for that. So to make our pizza dough, we will need all purpose flour, sugar, salt, yeast, and oil. Preferably olive oil. I don't have olive oil. I use avocado oil. I don't know if it's gonna screw up the dough or not. I'm using an electric stand mixer because we have it with a dough hook thingy. You, you can do this all by hand if you want, but I'm using a stand mixer because it's faster and I like power tools. So the recipe for the pizza dough I'm using today is from recipesofitaly.com and I will be putting that in the description down below. It's very simple. So we're going to start with a small mixing bowl. I'm using this, it seems good enough size. I'm going to take warm water, not hot water, warm water and our yeast, put them in the bowl together and combine them and allow them to become active, not passive and lazy like one of those people who just sits on the couch all day and just plays video games, because that's not me at all. It's not me, not this guy. So we're going to take one and a third cups of warm water, not hot water, warm water, add them to our bowl. There's a cup, there's a third. Then we'll be taking our yeast. Active dry yeast. This is quick rise for bread machines and traditional baking. But you're going to need, according to this recipe, one package or a fourth of an ounce of active dry yeast. I don't know what qualifies as a quarter of an ounce as far as measurement goes. Does it tell me? Ah, there, it tells me right there. Two and a quarter teaspoons equals a quarter ounce of the yeast. Cool, so add two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast to your warm water. One two and a quarter. Stir that around in your water. Now you wanna leave that set for about 10 minutes until it starts to become foamy. While we do that, we'll start putting things in our stand mixer. So one thing I forgot to do for the yeast, which is what actually makes yeast work, I forgot to put the sugar in the yeast. That's what actually makes yeast do what it does. It feeds the yeast. So I'm gonna add that now instead of being a dummy and just standing here waiting for the yeast to do its thing when it's not. You gotta add a tablespoon of sugar to the yeast and water mixture. That helps yeast do its yeasty stuff. So into our stand mixer we will add three cups of flour. Set your flour over here because you'll need it later. So then you also add your salt. So we need a teaspoon of salt. There's a half a teaspoon. Let's use two of these. One, two. Uh, gonna take our mixer here, turn it on, stir. Yeah, power tools for the win. Put all that mixed together for a little while. So I think our yeast is finally ready. I don't know if it's actually been 10 minutes, but I haven't really been counting. It looks like that it's beginning to become foamy on the top, which is what you want. You want your yeast to be foamy. So we're now gonna add the yeast, sugar water mixture stuff, and uh, the oil to the, the flour stuff and mix it all together and make it a dough. Our yeast yeast water stuff so we're gonna dump that all in there cool and then a quarter cup of oil again i'm using avocado oil but if you have it use olive oil because it says to dump all that in there lower this thing lock it dirt it. let it go until it becomes doughy should should become doughy any minute now any minute now good point of reference if you're using an electric mixer like i am after a minute or so scrape down the sides of the bowl to get all of the flour and goodness into the dough Look, it's becoming dough. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, look at the dough. It's forming dough. After it's been in the mixer for a little while, your dough should begin to look like so. It should be very elastic. You may choose to knead it by hand if you wish, or if you do not wish to knead it by hand, you can just leave it in the mixer and let the mixer do all the work. Because power tools, everybody loves power tools. So I've taken the liberty of sprinkling a little bit of oil in this bowl. We're going to take this dough, we're going to form it into a ball and put it in here. Okay, so our dough is in a bowl now. We're gonna put it in that lightly, lightly oiled bowl. Swirl it around, make it into a ball. So there it is, it's a dough ball. Look at it, it's a dough ball in a bowl. So you're gonna take that, cover it with a towel, let it sit for about 45 minutes. While that's sitting and rising, we're gonna make sauce and prep our ingredients to go on the pizza that we're going to grill outside on the grill. Begin, we're going to start our sauce. 
going to make some pizza sauce. There's a few things you'll need for that. Some of the things you're going to need for your pizza sauce are tomato sauce, salty salty. You can use seasoned salt if you like. This time I'm just going to use regular old salty salty. You're going to need oregano, which I think I have up here somewhere. Sage, dillweed, oregano. Use a little rosemary. You will need two decently sized cloves of garlic. And then just some regular old black pepper. We're gonna start with our tomato sauce and a can opener. We're gonna open those things real quick and then dump it in the pot. We're gonna dump all that right in our pan. Turn our pan onto a medium heat. Let it warm up. So whilst the tomato sauce is heating over a medium heat, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt into the thing. Black pepper, I don't use a lot of black pepper in this. Teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of rosemary, and then take our garlic mincer, mince that garlic into the thing. <laughs> got it, oh I got it. Okay, there we go. Okay, then you need a knife and just cut all that extra garlic -y fancy stuff off. So as this is heating, take a wooden spoon. It does not have to be slotted, but this one that I picked up is. Just stir all those things into the sauce. And while you're stirring and while this is heating, think about your life. Think back on all the wonderful things that have happened to you so far this year. I mean, it's only March, but so many things could have happened to you. You could have gone on vacation already. Go to Disney World. I don't know. Maybe you didn't do anything. Maybe all you've done is because it's winter, is sit on the couch like a bum. That's totally cool too. But whatever you did, just stir this sauce and think about it. And have fun. Just enjoy the sauce. Let the sauce be stirred. Let it warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and cover the uh, sauce, let it simmer, and I'm gonna cover it so that it doesn't splatter all over my stove. Once that comes to simmer, let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes or waiting for that to simmer and our dough to rise. I'm gonna cut up some veggies and toppings. So as far as all of our toppings go, we have pepperonis, mozzarella cheese, some leftover bacon from some BLTs. Then for veggies, I have tomato, onion, jalapeno, and bell pepper. Okay, so we're done cutting up our veggies. Our sauce is done, it smells so good. I'm still waiting for the dough to finish rising. That's probably got about another 20 minutes or so on it. So in the meantime, kick back and enjoy your favorite show. Watch, watch a cartoon, something. Watch more YouTube. Watch another one of my YouTube videos. I don't care. There's something you can do while you wait for your dough to rise. Prep your grill. Just thought of that one. Yeah, so uh, you wanna prep your grill, make sure it's good and hot, about 550 to 600 degrees, and uh, clean it really well, because otherwise you'll just get nasty stuff on your pizza. So here we are outside, it's a beautiful day. It's very cold, but it's beautiful outside. So here's my grill, I'm gonna uncover the thing, start her up, and just let any old junk burn off the grill, number one, and number two, let it get very hot. Okay, our pizza dough has risen. I'm going to literally punch it down. You don't actually have to do that, but you know, make it go down. So I'm gonna take our dough, I'm gonna flip it out onto a clean counter. So it's really not sticky anymore because of the oil. So I'm gonna take it and put it on a clean counter, clean surface. Cut this into four dough balls. So I want to make four smaller pizzas instead of two big pizzas. I'm gonna take this, put it on a plate, and keep the dough balls separated. So what we want to do is take your dough and either roll it or just kind of stretch it out, whichever way you prefer to make your dough. So you want your dough to be fairly thin. It doesn't have to be perfectly round, but you do want it to be thin because the grill cooks very quickly at a very, very hot temperature. So after you've stretched your pizza dough out a little bit, you wanna take a little bit more oil and spread it around on the dough so that it doesn't stick to the grill. You can use your hand, you can use a brush, you can use whatever. I'm gonna use a brush because I don't wanna get it all over my hands. So you're just gonna brush it, brush the oil all over the dough get it ready for the grill. Here's where the most important part comes in. You have all this stuff. Your pizza dough cooks very, very quickly on a grill. So you want to have everything out by your grill, ready to go to top the pizza as soon as it's ready to be topped. So I'm gonna take all of our stuff outside so it's all ready, kind of set it all out by the grill so that as soon as I'm ready, 
I can just top the pizza and we're good to go. So, I'm gonna take it all outside. So we're outside, I've got all my stuff set up outside. All of our toppings and such over here. Got the rest of our dough and pizza stuff over here. Some more oil, cheese, all that stuff. Once this starts, I won't be able to talk about it a whole bunch. I'll try to talk about it as much as I can. I won't be able to do this face cam thing. Um, I'll have just my over the grill camera running, which is over here. Hi, over the grill camera. You wanna start with your dough on straight on the grill, put oil side down, let it cook for about two to three minutes with the grill cover open on high heat. Yeah, get ready to give it a flip. Hey guys, my first pizza is on the grill right now. Um, it looks really, really good. I don't want to lift the lid too much because I don't want the heat to all come out. You want to make sure you don't make your toppings super huge or things that need to cook for a long time. Everything I'm using has already been cooked or is ready to go. Um, so don't use like raw bacon and stuff like that on your sauce because this is only going to be on here cooking for maybe five minutes with all the toppings on it or less. So we're going to check this first one here. So I'm going to lift the lid here and check this first one. Oh yes. So you want to check the bottom, make sure it's not burning. So I'm going to continue with the rest of these, add some different toppings, show them to you guys when they're all done. We are done cooking everything. Our pizzas are inside. I'm going to show them to you. This was a great experience. I already tasted one. I couldn't help myself. They are amazing. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour. Cue the music. Pizzas are all done. As you just saw, they look amazing. I've got a piece right here for me to try for you guys. So I'm gonna take a bite. Excuse my disgustingness as always. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 This is the best pizza I've ever made. I'm gonna toot my own horn for that. Boop, boop. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this cooking time. I'm gonna go eat some more of this pizza. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you get updates when I make more of these videos. It's awesome. Look for more, watch some more of my videos, and share this video. If you like the entertainment, share it with other people. Other people like to be entertained too. So until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.